takriban vijana na akina mama 300 wafuzu mpango wa ufugaji bora mashinani. Sherehe ya kufuzu kwa vijana na kina mama 300 kwa mpango wa ufugaji bora mashinani mesheheni Mbwembwe na Densi. Mpango huo ambao umesimamiwa na Northern Rangeland Trust Trading na ambao umefadhiliwa na shirika la USAID umewapa fursa vijana na kina mama hao mbinu bora za ufugaji lishe kwa mifugo na uzalishaji wa mifugo. Akizungumza wakati wa sherehe hiyo mwenyekiti wa mpango wa Mashinani Wax Daktari Kevit Desai amesema kwamba mpango huo umewapa ujuzi vijana na kina mama hao wa jinsi ya kuboresha uzalishaji wa mifugo na jinsi ya kuwapa ya kuwapa tiba mifugo. You are here today to witness the graduation of 300 students on the Ufagaji Bora Mashinani program extremely exciting and a huge source of hope in view of the fact that we ha- are facing one of the most uh, challenging situations in our times within the context of the counties of the north and this is that you know the 30% of uh, of our uh, population with respect to the animal capacities would be diminishing over time primarily related to challenges faced with climate change as well as uh, challenges with respect to feeds diseases all of this play a huge role and so this program in an innovative way promotes the transferability of skills in the fo- following areas one of the key areas that it's looking at is um, issues with respect to livestock breeding like livestock breeding is a huge challenge within the context of overall productivity and innovation in animal production the various types that exists as well as the specifications that are required by the market to ensure maximum profits are achieved as efficiently as possible and as productively as possible for the herdsmen and women challenges with respect to feeding the challenges we are facing as far as drought and uh, the need for greater levels of skills and competencies to understand commercial feeds as well as the necessary minerals and vitamins that could make uh, a tremendous difference as far as uh, productivity and transformation of herds are concerned challenges with respect to diseases these are crit- issue, critical issues that need to be addressed in a proactive way in a way which ensures that we're able to promote the highest level of yield and capability challenges with respect to market specifications and standards the markets that exists the nationalist ambition as far as export potential is concerned is huge within the context of this very traditional and very important area of uh, pastoralism daktari desai amongeza kusema kwamba mpango huo wa ufugaji bora mashinani Unalenga kufikia nyumba elfu mbili kuhakikisha kwamba mpango huo unatambulika katika ngazi ya kitaifa. Aidha mwenyekiti huyo ameeleza kwamba mpango huo utakabiliana na changamoto ya uhaba wa lishe, uzalishaji wa mifugo, uhaba wa masoko ya mifugo na kudhibiti mabadiliko ya tabia nchi. And then of course the challenges we face as far as climate change. Today we are witnessing high rises in temperatures as we speak today it's scorching hot in Isiolo at around 38 degrees and this is playing a huge uh, role as far as the detrimental effects it has in terms of pastures as well as promoting the livelihoods for the pastoralist communities indeed one of the other areas that we're looking at as far as skills and transferability is concerned are leadership and governance the ability for young people to be self development oriented and self reliant and capacities are therein absolutely critical so today this brings us to this graduation of 300 students from various um, counties counties which consist of samburu laikipia masabit and siolo and the objective is to ensure that we create a community driven approach to commerce 
which results you know, in inclusive development, resilience and self-reliance. We would like to look into various aspects of training. This is very much in partnership with the government of Kenya and is within the context of the national policy for livestock, which promotes uh, productivity and innovation and addresses the need to create the necessary levels of diversification as well as the key priorities in view of the diversity that exists within uh, the entire country. Kwa mujibu wa Daktari Desai, malengo makuu ya mpango huo ni kubuni jamii inayojiendesha na biashara inayojumuisha udhabiti yani resilience na kujitegemea vijana hao na kina mama hao kutoka magatuzi ya Isiolo, like pia Samburu na Marsabit. As we much as we train within the context of this program, we follow the national policies of competency-based education and training. And by training to a standard, a standard that's measurable, young people are able to ensure the highest level of productivity and standards and capability in their produce. The second policy that is absolutely critical is the policy on recognition of prior learning. Young people who are part of this program are um, essentially those that did not enter primary school or dropped out between primary school and uh, high school and onwards. And so for them it becomes a predicament to once again rejoin the national system that supports them through capitation. With the development of the recognition of prior learning and that implementation, it enables a young person to continue the pathway of education, skills development and research. Many of these industries are highly dependent on that transformation and that development of skills, education and research. So it's absolutely critical that this uh, foundational system adheres to the national policy and in time to come the pathway of skills development and further research is possible for young people. We want to instill in them a sense that uh, productivity is only achieved through continuous improvement and that uh, the development of their skills is absolutely critical as far as uh, the transformation of this sector is concerned. Hata hivyo ahamoji kwamba mpango huo umezingatia mfumo wa mtaala wa umilisi yani competence based curriculum ili kuhakikisha vijana hao wanapata mapato ya hali ya juu kupitia mafunzo ambayo wamepokea chini ya mpango wa ufugaji bora mashinani. Ufugaji bora mashinini mashinani is a innovation by way of its ability to address livestock production but most importantly how communities can play a central role in its development for its resilient self-reliance and how young people are at the center of this very important industry which is part of the tradition of these counties and part of the way and means that um, communities have led their lives for many generations. The overall impact we hope to make is based on the fact that um, today 300 graduates will have a direct impact as far as 300 households are concerned. We're aiming that this program achieves a total target of 2,000 households, which equates to 600,000 shots and 400,000 large animals in order to promote the necessary scale and capacity for this industry to be recognized as a national area of transformation. Nae Bwana Elmi Bashir ambaye ni mkurugenzi katika idara ya mifugo ya katika serikali ya kitaifa amesema kwamba wiki mbili zilizopita Rais William Ruto na baraza lake la mawaziri alipitiza mswada wa mifugo ili kudhibiti sekta ya mifugo. Katika mswada huo umejumuisha bodi itakayokuwa ikihusika katika utathmini wa masoko ya mifugo ambayo itasimamiwa na wafugaji wenyewe that the ex is excellent and is competent passed a livestock bill na ni wiki mbili tu iliyopita kwamba alipitisha sheria akiwa na, na cabinet yake to regulate our livestock industry kuweza kufanya muongozo wa mambo ya industry ya ufugaji in that bill katika hiyo sheria we have the livestock market board that touch especially the people of asal arid and semi arid areas tuko na ile kamati ambayo itakuwa inahusika na mambo ya soko ya mifugo you will have your own board 
Bwana Elmi ameongeza kwamba serikali inazingatia sana mabadiliko ya kiuchumi. Is the agenda of this government is economic transformation. Serikali hii iko na iko na azimio kubwa ya mabadiliko ya kiuchumi ya jamii. Hayo ya kijiri baadhi ya wale ambao wamefuzu kutokana na mpango wa ufugaji bora mashinani wameelezea jinsi imebadilisha taswira ya maisha yao. Kijana Lemap Lelikula kutoka hifadhi ya jamii ya Westgate County ya Samburu ameeleza jinsi mafunzo ya mpango huo umewafaidi na kuboresha maisha yao. Ni adas wa Westgate tumetrainwa na ufugaji bora mashinani. Modo 1 2 3 4 ya kwanza tumeanza na mambo ya mbegu tukafuatilia tukaendea kununua mambo ya mbegu tumeona tofauti yake tumepata faida hapo na kuna matunda tumepokea kulingana na hiyo training kutoka mbalimbali tumefunguliwa masho na tukao tumejua mambo mengi mambo ya breed tumeenda tukanua magala na tukapata siku na masiwa kilo na mifugo setu ya siku na kiango haikuwa imefikia kiango hiyo mambo mengine tumeanza tena kuweka nyasi tumesingira mahali tukitaka kufuatilia mambo ya hiyo ujusi yenye tumepewa tukapata faida mzuri sana katika idara ya ufugaji bara mashinani tumefunza mambo ya madawa madisises na hatukua tunajua hatukua tunatumia madaktari hatukua tunajidungia lakini kwa sasa tumeelewa mambo ya hiyo mambo ya madaktari sikuisi tunajitia madaktari wakuja watudungie na pia tulikuwa tunaumisa mifugo zetu kwa sababu kulikuwa na madawa ya tulikuwa kuna dawa inafaa idunge ngosi na sisi tulikuwa tunadunga dare kitu kwa nyama na kuna ya nyama na sisi tunadunga ngosi kwa sasa tunatumia hizo manjia sote kwenye trainiwa tumejua mengi zaidi kwa sababu hata tulikuja kuona tulikuwa tunaumisa mifugo setu tukashukuru sana yana RTT fanye wamekuja kusaidia kwa njia mingi sana Aidha kijana huyo ameongeza kusema kwamba wameachana na wizi wa mifugo na sasa wanajishughulisha kuboresha ufugaji na kuongeza ubora wa mifugo ambayo inawapa mapoto, inawapa mapato mazuri Kama sisi hada ya Westgate kuna meeting tulifanya kubwa kuhusu mambo ya amani kwa sababu sisi tumejitoa hapo tumejiweka pande ya konservasi kwa kwa konservasi yetu zimeshikana na mambo ya kutafuta amani kwa konservasi yetu ndio tuendelee hiyo amani endelee hata mapaki zenye siku kwetu siku hizi hatutaki kupatikana kwa njia kama hayo tumejitoa hapo kwa sababu ni sisi ndio watu wa kwanza kwa community tumefunguliwa macho tumeona mengi hatuko tunajua sasa tunaendelea kuelezea kwa miti yetu kitu asifai kuingia kati ndani yetu na njia ya kusuia uhisi katika conservancy yetu estigate nae bi jelina lekilai kutoka lerata ameonyesha furaha yake kwa kusema kwamba anajivunia mafunzo ambayo amepokea imempa ujuzi na kutibu ujuzi wa kutibu mifugo yake ujuzi ambao haukuwa ujuzi ambao hakuwa nayo hapo mbeleni Kenya imefundisha sisi ni mingi sana. Kwa maana samani ya kujua, saa hizi tumejua, tumekuwa madaktari na samani atuji. Saa hizi tumekuwa madaktari. Napendelea mambo ya soko. Mimi yuko simu. Napika simu, soko, bei, naweka wakati naweka shini natumana, wakati naweka bei juu natumana, wakati napata hata wagonjwa kwa mfugo napika visha na tumana sasa tunafurahia sana kwa maana mifundisha sisi kwa muda mrefu tunashukuru sana kwa maana wengi atukajua sasa tumekuwa tumejua sana kijana mwingine kwa jina Joshua Moses kutoka kaunti ya Laikipia amesema kwamba kupitia mafunzo hayo ya miaka mitatu walifunzwa kuhusu aina tofauti tofauti ya kondoo mbuzi na ngombe na jinsi ya kukabiliana na changamoto inayowakabili hususan magonjwa mbalimbali na vile vile uzalishaji wa maziwa na lishe yao leo siku ya leo nimefurahia sana kuwa siku ya leo hapa kuja kufanya graduation ya ufugaji bora mashinani adas 
katika hii hii mradi ya ufugaji bora mashinani tulisoma miaka muda wa miaka tatu tulisomeshwa mambo mengi ambayo inasaidia katika community kwamba tulifunzwa mambo mengi mambo ya kwanza ambayo tumesomeshwa ni mambo ya breeds types of breeds ya mbuzi ya ngombe ya kondoo na ngamia na na mengine mengi kwa ngombe tulifunzwa kama breed ya Moran Saiwal na inategemea sasa Saiwal ama ama Boran inakuwa na challenges zake wakati ya kiangazi na pia Saiwal pia iko na changamoto zake kwa mbuzi tulifunzwa breeds kama tatu hivi ya kwanza ni mambo ya Boas tulifunzwa kwamba Boas inaweza saa mara tatu ama mara mbili kwa mwaka tulifunza pia mambo ya gala ile mbusi nyupe kwamba iko na type mbili deir na dijon tulifunza na tulishika mzuri sana pia kwa ngamia tulifunza ina tatu kuna somelea camels kuna rendile kuna morana na tukana so pia tulisomeshwa mambo ya magonjwa tulielewa kwamba inafaa kuwa kama mfugaji bora lazima uwe unajua ni magonjwa gani yana effect ama yanadhuru mshuko yetu kwa mi so tulifunzwa tukaelewa kwamba lazima kama kuna magonjwa una report kwa daktari upige simu uelezwe ni madawa gani ambayo inafaa kupea alafu uweze kusaidika tulijua pia mambo ya chumvi ni chumvi gani inafaa inafaa kupea wakati ya kiangazi wakati ya wakati ya, ya green mambo mengi tumepata katika maisha na pia mambo ya climate change wakati ya climate change wakati ya kiangazi mbusi wanafaa kugusa wakati gani mbusi wanafaa eh wakati gani kwa wingi ndio ili waise pia kwa sababu kiweka pia kwa wingi inaharibu pia ile environment ama ardhi so ni hayo nimeshukuru Mpango huo wa ufugaji bora mashinani unasimamiwa na shirika la Northern Rangeland Trust Trading na kufadhiliwa na shirika la kimataifa la Marekani USAID na vijana na kina mama hao tatu kutoka kaunti za wafugaji ambazo ni Isiolo, Samburu, Laikipia na Marsabit. Nikiripotia Waso TV langu jina ni Hussein Murangiriguyo Waso TV ya kujuza na kuburudisha